Hi, Alana. How are you doing? I saw your video with you and Chris going to uh, San Francisco, and you asked about the hottest pepper. Well, there are several hottest peppers. They're basically the, uh, they're all Asian, uh, either Indian or Thai. Uh, so if you want your hot peppers, that's where to go. Uh, uh, and consequently, and or subsequently, if you want hot food, spicy food, uh, to sort of test your palate, that's what you want to go. That's where you want to go as well. It's either uh, the Szechuan, uh, Thai, uh, Indian. These are all very hot foods. Um, they're hard to find in North America. More often than not, you'll have to make them, make them on your own because uh, they don't adjust these uh, the heat. They, they, most Indian restaurants, most restaurants in the United States and Canada and North America, uh, even though they may be ethnically oriented, they adjust the uh, spiciness uh, for the uh, North American or the Western palate, uh, which isn't used to a lot of spice in their food. Uh, to go to get the spice uh, that you want, if if you're above, what, if you if Chris considers himself to be above the spice levels of standard North American food, then he has to find a good uh, ethnic restaurant where you see primarily either Indian people there, Thai people. In other words, you need to find a restaurant that's not geared towards the North American customer, and that's that's hard to find. Uh, the other thing you can look up for is look up for uh, this dish called Fall, F-P-H-A-A-L. That is a very hot dish. Uh, most people, uh, the, the chefs when they make it, is done I think in two different restaurants in the United States. Uh, if you can find this dish, the chef has to make it with a gas mask on. You cannot make this dish in many of these hot Indian dishes. You can't make them without uh, or, or tie You can't make them without gas masks on. The uh, uh, most of these dishes do come with a health, uh, a, a warning, uh, a heat warning because it does, heat. If you're not properly prepared, can cause serious issues. Um, I've learned to make a lot of the dishes myself, uh, but I'm of a uh, Middle Eastern uh, Asian background, so uh, I'm used to spice in the food. So. But the thing is, if you're not used to spicing your food, if you're not used to that type of cuisine, uh, stepping into the uh, we'll call it the Pan Asian uh, cuisine, which is goes anywhere from uh, Syria, Lebanon, uh, all the way uh, that's on the, the first Western tip, all the way into uh, the Polynesian islands. Uh, these these uh, uh, areas here have a lot of very hot stuff, a lot of spice, a lot of flavor. And you might want to step into there and sort of see what you can find and uh, and how you can handle the heat there and sort of walk walk your way up in terms of not only you don't you don't only just want this is the thing is you don't only just want heat uh, proper spice in any of the Pan Asian food is not simply heat there has to be flavor there as well if there isn't flavor there an abundance of flavor uh, then uh, you know there's no point to it. But, uh, but the warning that I do have to, to, to say here, and because this is my my problem that I've had, is I've gotten very used to the uh, the uh, the uh, the Pan Asian food, and going back to hamburgers and hot dogs, well, just kind of plain fare, and it just doesn't cut it anymore. So what I've done is, if I like hot, uh, hamburgers or hot dogs, I usually get a sausage or some type of uh, a good ground beef, and I spice it up the way I would. Uh, any um, any uh, Asian dish, and I simply have a a, a fusion a, a pan Asian Western fusion type of uh, hamburger or hot dog. That's actually what I'm making now, as I'm making um, the slow roast. I'm doing uh, sausages uh, in a uh, pan Asian uh, type of uh, heat and spices. Anyways, I hope this helps uh, help, helps to pal it out, and I hope to see you around on YouTube more often. All right, bye bye.